Once upon a time, far away in a deep forest, 80,000 monkeys lived together. They had a king who was unusually large, as big as a fawn. He was not only big physically, he was also large in mind. One day, he advised his monkey troops. My subjects, there are poisonous fruits in this deep forest and ponds inhabited by demons. So if you see any unusual fruit or unknown pond, do not eat or drink until you ask me first. Paying close attention to their wise king, all the monkeys agreed to follow his advice. Later on, they came to an unknown pond. Hey, I'm very tired. Can we have some water, please? Shh, shut up. We are not supposed to drink the water. I will have a little. If you go near the pond, I will push you inside. Even though they were all tired out and thirsty from searching for food, no one would drink without first asking the monkey king. So they sat in the trees and on the ground around the pond. When he arrived, the monkey king asked them, Did anyone drink the water? No, your majesty. We all followed your instructions. Well done. He then walked around the pond. He examined the footprints of the animals that had gone to the water and saw that none came out again. So he realized that the pond must be possessed by a water demon. My dear colleagues, this pond is possessed by a water demon. Do not go into it. Oh, 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 oh no! After a little while, the water demon saw that none of the monkeys went into the water to drink. So he rose out of the middle of the pond taking the shape of a frightening monster. He had a big blue belly, a white face with bulging green eyes and red claws and feet. Hey monkeys, why are you just sitting here out? Come into the pond and drink at once. On seeing the demon, the monkeys shivered and hugged one another. Who are you? I am the water demon who owns this pond. Do you eat whoever goes into the water? Yes, I do anything, including birds. I eat them all. And when you are forced by your thirst to come into the pond and drink, I will enjoy eating you, the biggest monkey most of all. He grinned. <laughs> but the monkey king remained calm. He had a well-trained mind. I will not let you eat me or a single one of my followers. And yet, we will drink all the water we want. Impossible! How will you do that? Each one of us will drink using bamboo shoots as straws. And you will not be able to touch us. What? Bamboo shoots? Huh? The demon got wild. A curse 
Anyone who has seen a bamboo knows there is a difficulty. Bamboo grows in sections, one after another, with a knot between each one. Any one section is too small, so the demon could grab a monkey, pull him under and gobble him up. The knots made it impossible to sip through more than one section. How dare you talk to me this way? This is my pod. Nothing is yours. You are a servant of this pond, not a master. The king brought a big bamboo shoot and gave pieces to all the monkeys. First, he took a young bamboo shoot, blew through it to make the knots disappear and used it to sip water from the pond. The monkeys started to sip the water from the pond. The demon fed the sheep and hid himself under the water. The king and his subjects had their fill and went to another place. Test the water before jumping in. <laughs> 